नाम शिष्टम मनुमति सचि पुत्र तस्ग्रजोरी पुरी माथुरी गोष्ठवाटी राधा कुंडम गिरीवर्म हो राधिका माधवास प्राप्त यथित कृपया श्री गुरु तंगकल्पतरुभ्य कृपा सिंधु पतिता पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो महाबदनाय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदायते कृष्णाय कृष्ण चैतन्य नाम्ने गौरक्षिषे गुरवे गौरचंद्राय राधिकाय इंद्राय कृष्णाय कृष्ण भक्ताय तदभक्ताय नमो यं प्रजतमुपेतमेतृत्यम द्वैपायनो पुत्रे तन्मयतयाधो तम सर्वूतरीद भक्त विहीनायपरा कामातर कृपा मैं शरण प्रपन्ना वृंदेमस्ते चरणारविंद वृंदेमस्ते माई मिलियंस ऑफ धनदत् प्रणाम इन टू द लोट ऑफ स्वीट ऑफ माई परमाराध्यतम गुरु पाद पद्मशील भक्ति प्रज्ञान केशव गोस्वामी महाराज एंड इन द लोड फीट ऑफ माय शिक्षा गुरु भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी महाराज ओनली बाई दर्शीज कॉडलेस मर्शी आई हैव कम in western country eastern country as and also in indian so many towns and cities <coughs> and preaching and or are very carefully hearing my words only that i know that i have no qualification at all their mercy is only Godless mercy is my wealth and everything, and that is why all are honoring me. And especially you know that my Paramaradha Samshila Guru Dev, who sprinkled his godless mercy so much, so much, he has written in our. Jaiva Dharma and other books that I published by his order to please him, and also you know how my Shiksha Guru Sri Bhakti Vedan Swami Maharaj used to love me, and he wrote me that your. you are your relation with me is transcendent i don't know why and what he thought that he took my hands in his hands and weeping with tear eyes 
He requested me to help his all devotees that he has collected, collected from all over the world. They are like monkeys. <laughs> so I want that and request that you must help me. I remember the, his words as if he is telling me today. So only for to please him, to obey my Gurudeva and him. In the land of Srila Rupa Goswami, Raghunath Das Goswami, up to Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur and Srila Prabhupada Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami. I want to give something like a gift to you all that your life should be successful forever. I want to inspire you by their words. You should know that I have not come for any uh, wealth, reputation or anything. Only to please them. Only to please them. That I should inspire the devotees, those who feel so much weak and so many giving up Hari Bhajan, the line of Srila Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj too. So we become it. And for that purpose I have come. So this should be Godless merciful to me, to you all, that you should be inspired. You should be inspired. Try to go deeply in his books, everything he has written, given, everything. And remnant, we are trying to give whole world. And we know that by this only following, you can be happy in this world. Hmm? Not by what oh, Sriman Padmanam Maharaj told very frankly and clearly everything. Hmm? So, I want to, oh, also, what can I glorify them? Especially, Sri Bhaktivedanta Swami Maharaj. A person uh, who is not transcendental, uh, inspired by Krishna or Mahaprabhu, he cannot do all these miracles that in a couple of years he made very um, Kranti, revolution, revolution life. <coughs> he established so many Christian centers, where? Amongst oceans, on hills, in, fro in forests, Saranagati and so many. He brought all the, so many, or teenager girls and young, <laughs> Hmm? At that time, they never thought that we will be householder. <laughs> never. Hmm. They were totally engaged, fully engaged in his service. He was so attractive that he engaged all, top to bottom. Hmm? All they are inspired. But now some are like dooming. Yes. Doom? Yes, yes. Dooming? Yes. We like they come we. So, I have come to remind you, remember, that you should remember that days and be like that. Also help me. Help me also in this way. I want to, uh, to tell that so quickly he established so many teaching centers, especially his glorious work is that he published so many authentic books. So many. That a general man cannot give it. If he is not like transcendental mode. Also, 
Oh, in all the prominent languages of whole universe, his books were translated. And by that, oh, very soon a revolution came. Everywhere, oh, we can find, oh, so many dis his disciples. There is no country left where his disciples are not there. Everywhere. I think that a new one, those who are coming by their his influence all are coming. Mm -hmm. Especially when I tell that, oh, I am in the line of Srila Bhakti Pedan Swami Maharaj Yur Prabhupada and he has uh, sprinkled his mercy. Then all are attracted. Otherwise not. <laughs> Anyone will let give me any importance. <laughs> Only by his name. Yeah? what I am doing. So, I want to tell you that we should know that what he wanted to preach, what Rupa Goswami wanted to preach, Sri Chaitanya Manu Vishtam Sthavita Jena Bhuta Swayana Rupa Kada Mayam Dadati But that, that was Manu Vishtam of Chaitanya Mahasaya. That is Sri Krishna Dharka Viraj Bhutan, Srila Rupa Goswami himself told, Anarpit Charing Chirat Karunya Shamarapayetam Unnata Jvalrasam Sa Bhakti Hari Kapoor or Sundar Tudh Katam Vashandi Sadari Rayakam Nari Spurutvi. This is our main object of our life. This is the essence of all the teaching that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wanted to distribute. The godless mercy that you should serve Radha and Krishna conjugal in the line of gopis. There is nothing beyond this. Nothing and nothing. So our prayojan is prayojan means ultimate goal to serve Radha and Krishna conjugal. What the Ch Chaitanya Mahaprabhu instructed to Rupa Goswami and Rupa Goswami revealed in Bhakti Rasam in Sindhu and especially in Bhakti uh, Ujjwal Neeman and other his books. This is our, our aim and object of our life. But how we can do? How we can do? Rupa Goswami will not come to you and tell any Goswami will not come. No, no, Goswami. Swami he came mercifully. Anyone never called him, never gave any invitation. Not a single pipe that you should come. No help. But even he came. But because he was sent by himself Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Nityananda. And he tried. But in the end he was repenting. I could not do so much. Still so or weak so much. On in his time so many uh, met made some disobedience to him. So he was very very for this all this thing. And after his departure you know everything. He wanted to tell you what is bhakti. Then you can follow Rupa Goswami. Bhakti Goswami Sindhu Ujjwal in Mani or his other books, Rupa Goswami, Raghunath Goswami. After that, Krishna Das Kabiraj Goswami, Jiva Goswami and others, Vishwanachak Parthi Thakur, Bhante Vidya Goswami. Especially in Iron Age, Sila Bhakti Vinod Thakur. Hmm? So all these are. What is that Bhakti? Hmm? We want to discuss about all these things. Hmm? 
अन्याभिलाषिता शून्य ज्ञान कर्मा जानाकृत आनुकूल कृष्णानुशीलन भक्ति एक्टिविटीज ऑफ ऑल अवर सेंसेस बियॉन्ड दिस बाय मूड बाय भाव विदाउट एनी इंटरेक्शन ओ फ्लो कंटिन्यूस लाइक हनी कमिंग इन द गाइडेंस ऑफ ए रियलाइज्ड डिवोटीज आर ग्रुप ओ मोस्टली no badly desire giving up all the desires even for paikuntha and ajodhya and everything even rog goswami to even santo dasya even doing pranam to sakhan batal and sakhi bhav doing pranam what we want to achieve sirup manjari mukha tad dasika sanshaya that is the aim and object of shila bhakti vedan saraswati tha bhakti siddhan saraswati and shila prabhupad or gurudev why not or that only to preach kirtan why they introduce this kirtan or oh, by means of this any low class of devotee may come and one day understood understand of oh, what is love and affection and chaitanya in chaitanya chaitanya third and fourth first chapter of oh, what has been told chaitanya mahaprabhu never came to oh kirtan and all yuga yuga dharma preaching He came only for two reasons, prominent and second. Radha ya pranay mahima, and to taste that high class of love, and to ragmarga bhakti. Ragmarga bhakti. That are another picture in here. They moved up the roof, manjari and other. But he tried, but he. For his tribe, he, he had to cut the jungles of all the things, unwanted things, Maya ba, istri sangi, sajia, sakhi beki, and all other things. For life, he has to do. Again coming, cutting, again coming. So his main object was to give this. so you should know what is that bhakti realize that in whole life you should not be weak always inspired and developing your krishna bhakti hmm? for this you will have to know so many things so many things hmm? after lakhs and lakhs but uh Sukriti, I think that you know of Sukriti. Sukriti, hmm? oh, some sadha comes. Before that, you will see Sukadev Goswami, Nag Goswami, even no sadha, then oh, you will not know that who is he. Hmm? You cannot have honor to their words. So first. Sadha will come. How it will come? By millions of lives, so much sukriti, and then a sadha will come. What sadha? Transcendental. Some things that sadha is very easy, but that sadha is low ki ki material, not real or transcendental sadha. If once transcendental sadha come, then what will be? Oh, he will start swiftly go, eh? advancing and advancing. So, what is that sadha? Sadha, sabde, vishwas kahe? Oh, sudhena, like Pranab Maharaj, Haridas Thakur, 
Śrīla Raghunāda Das Goswami. Oh, I may be dead. Oh, anyone will cut me in two pieces. But I cannot give up chanting name and his bhakti. So please, uh, honor will come. Honor for the words of epics, honor for the words of Krishna, the honor for the words of devotees and Gurudev. Then this is called Sabdha, otherwise not Sabdha. Oh, doing pranam, and when he went away, oh, this was a very wicked person. So this is not Sabdha. We will try to discuss all these things. What is Sabdha? And then what is Nishtha? What are Anartha? How to get rid of all these Anartha? And then Nishtha. What is Nishtha? And then Ruchi. What is taste? Ruchi. If Ruchi comes, no fear. No fear. We will go straight. One point. Only fear. Up to fear, uh, up to this taste, Ruchi. Our time is very critical. In this critical time, when they have left everything to do bhajan, and they have not realized anything, no taste in chanting, hearing harikatha in Vaishnava seva, in other seva. Very critical. I know that in this time, oh, black sack left, the body of Swamiji left. They became quite opposite. They became nasty, atheist. Hmm? Now they are criticizing their Guru Devan too. He was not Guru. So we want that. You should know all these things and realize. After that you should know what is your Shakti. Attachment to Krishna, attachment to your bhajan. And after that, mood will come. Shuddha Sattva. Hey, what is bhav? What is Shuddha Sattva? We should try to learn. Try to realize in this human life. And after that will come Prem, Shne, Man, Prane, Rag, Anurag, Bhav, Mahabhav. Rudha, Adhirudha, then Mohan, Modan, and in the last, oh, the special mood of Radhika will come. When you will know all these things, that, then you will be one-pointed Dasya of Radhika. And that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wanted to, to give you. So, I want to discuss and touch all these points in three days, but... <laughs> so those who are hungry for this, they may come to desert. Uh, oh, Maharaj wants that he should be finished. <laughs> he is very hungry. I cannot disobey him. <laughs> He's my personal doctor, advisor, my commander in chief. <laughs> my... Radha Ramana Hari Govind 
Simply by performing these things, every other type of obligation, every other type of responsibility has been completely performed. There's nothing else to do. When a person is convinced that his only obligation, his only duty in life is the service of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Para Brahma, Para Tattva, the Supreme Absolute Truth, and that the service of all those things which are not the absolute truth huh, should be given up. Or well, then this is called Sattva, faith. In Amnai Sutra, there Srila Bhakti no Thakur also defined faith. He said, Sraddha Tananyo Varjam Bhakti Unmukhi Chitta Vritti Vishesh. Chitta Vritti Vishesh. Sraddha or faith means that very special disposition of the heart which remains forever inclined towards acts of loving service. Hmm? The heart is always inclined, has that disposition to serve Krishna at every moment. And Anya Varjam, to leave behind all types of karma, activities which are performed for the sake of getting some remuneration, hmm? motivating activities, and Jnana, the performance of activities or the cultivation of knowledge and philosophy with the aim and object of becoming freed from the miseries of this world and freed from the cycle of birth and death, mukti. And activities such as the performance of yoga for the accumulation of siddhi, mystic powers, the performance of activities for elevation to heavenly planets, all these types of uh, activities 
karma, gyan, yoga, all are completely discarded because the heart is specifically inclined only towards acts of loving service. It's called Shraddha. When this Shraddha is present in the heart, in the next sutra, Srila Bhakti Nautaku explains, Sacha Sharnapati Lakshanam. The symptom of a person in whose heart this Shraddha has appeared. They have an outer symptom that is called Sharnapati or Sharnagati. They have unconditional surrender. If this faith has come, then they are very careful to protect it. Because it's such a valuable thing. Just as we see when the devotees come to India, they're always worried. Where's my passport? Is it still there? My travel checks. That's okay. They want to look after these things very carefully. So if someone has sadha, really, then they take care of it. How? Anupul Yasha Sankalpa. They have a very firm vow to accept everything in their life which is favorable for progress in devotional service. Pratikul Yasha Vibharajanam. And unequivocally, without looking back, they walk away from everything which may be detrimental to the development of pure devotional service. And Rakshishititi Vishwaso Gopitve Varanam Tata. They're not afraid of what will happen to them in the future. Who will maintain me when I grow old? These kinds of thoughts and feelings, they don't come. Why? Krishna is my maintainer. Gopitve Varanam Tata. He will maintain me. Rakshishititi Vishwaso. And if there's any danger, if any very life threatening calamity will approach them, then what will they do? Take out their gun. No. Hmm? Only one thing. They pray to Krishna. Why? Because Krishna will always protect me. Hmm? If Krishna wants to protect me, no one can harm me. If someone wants to harm me, Krishna wants to harm me. And no one can protect me. So, no fear at all. And, Atmanik Shepana Karpanye. They have no independence, self-interest. Their life of 24 hours a day is only meant for the service of Krishna. They have no uh, other agenda. They have no other mm, activities, no other schedule or ambitions outside of the ambition to serve Guru Hari Guru and Vaishnavas. It's called Atmanik Shepana. To give up the mood of independence. And Karpanye means humility. They are very humble. They give respect to others. And this humility is also characterized by the feeling, I have not understood Siddhanta. I don't know the Shastra. I am bereft of a clear knowledge. And another aspect of humility, oh, because of my uh, wicked, wicked activities of the past, I am bereft of the association of sadhus. Aheno Durjana Sadjana Varjita. I am bereft of the association of qualified devotees, the near and dear family members of Sri Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So, when a person has this shraddha in his heart, then it will be characterized outwardly by their surrender. And the internal characteristic of that shraddha, the internal aspect, that is called bhakti latavij, the seed of devotion. Its internal characteristic is Krishna seva vasana, the desire to serve Krishna. How does it come? Brahmanda Brahmite Kon Bhagavan Ji Guru Krishna Prasade Pai Bhakti Lata Bij The seed of the creeper of the devotion comes when a living entity has been wandering throughout the universe in many many lifetimes. Sometimes by accident he may honor some Mahaprasadam. By accident he may uh, do Parakrama in a holy place or fast on a Kadasi. There are many examples given in Shastra. And knowingly or unknowingly, he accumulates Sukriti, some pious credits. And when this Sukriti reaches a critical mass, the result of this Sukriti is that he comes face to face with the Sakshat Haritvena Samasta Shastra Uktastata Bhavyata Evasadvi. Kintu Praboya Priya Evatasya 
Vande Guru Sri Charanaravindam. He comes face to face with such a Hari. That personality who is saying possessed, engaged in the service of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, who is a complete and perfect instrument in the hands of the Lord, who is a transparent via medium, who can completely and perfectly represent the uh, conception of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and all the Acharyas. He needs that person. And by the influence of that person, Guru Krishna Prasadi Bhai Bhakti Lata Beach, by associating with him, Bhaktis tu Bhagavat Sangha, Bhaktis tu Bhagavat Bhakta Sangha na Parijayate. The only cause of the awakening of Bhakti in its most rudimentary form, in the form of Shraddha, is the association of the devotee. Mm -hmm. The Dati Prati Grinati Gui Makati Prichati Pumte Bojayate Chaiva Sadhira Priti Lakshanam. He has Sadhu Sangha. What is this Sadhu Sangha? Not an ordinary thing. First of all, sadhu. Sadnoti, sadhayani cha, Krishna Prem iti, sadhu. Sadhu is that person. He is related to sadvastu, the eternal supreme reality, see Krishna. Kintu prabhoya priya evatastam, very near and intimate associate of Krishna. And sadhu is that person who themselves, they are deeply absorbed in their sadhan bhajan. And by their instructions, they adjust our life so that we can also understand what is the actual line of pure sadhan. So that we can come in contact with the very live and invigorating currents of Braja Prem. That person is called sadhu. And what is sangha? Samyak rupain anugaman. Samyak rupain. To completely follow. When we have the chance to come in contact with such a high class of pure devotee, then that person, he tries to surrender himself there unconditionally and follow externally and externally by his activities and internally by uh, uh, having rendered service and praying to Guru that the internal moods of Guru will gradually begin to manifest within his heart. So by this Sadhu Sangha, faith is acquired and this faith gradually, gradually begins to grow. Actually, Adho Shraddha Tata Sadhu Sangatha Bhajana Kriya Tato Nata Nivishishat Tata Nishat Ruchis Tata Atha Tata Asat Akta Sarkis Tata Bhava Prema Vyudajate Sadhakaramayam Prema Padubhavi Bhavet Kramaha From the stage of Shraddha up to Prem and up to Sneha Man Pranaya up to Mahabhav All of this is one substance only There's only one substance hmm? What is this? This is the vritti, or the function, the activity of Krishna's internal potency, Samvit Shakti and Hadini Shakti. It is one substance. So the living entity who receives this Shraddha, this faith, is very fortunate. Because if he will take care of it very carefully, how? By following the orders of Guru and Vaishnava. And also by keeping a fence around his newly sprouting creeper in the form of good association. If you not make a fence around this sprouting creeper, then you'll get bad association. And in the association of those who have no inclination towards Shuddha Bhakti, completely pure and unmixed Bhakti, there will be a barrage of Aparaj, so many offenses. And it will come like the Hakimata, a mad elephant and completely smash, destroy, uproot everything before it even began. Therefore, the, those who have Shraddha, they try to protect it. This Shraddha is of two types. If a person has some faith, they have some faith in God and think, I want to serve Him. This is not the sign that this Shraddha is transcendental. It may be Lokik Shraddha, Lokik Shraddha. That means worldly conviction. It's a coming from their mind. There are so many people in this world who have faith in something. Hmm? Some people have faith in money. But this is not Shraddha. Hmm? So some people also have faith in Bhagavan. But this faith in God is not transcendental. It may be a material kind of conviction coming from the mind and intelligence. What is the sign that it is transcendental? They have respect for Guru, but they also respect Vaishnava. In fact, 
when a living entity develops honor for all the paraphernalia of the Chinmoy Tattva, of the transcendental reality, at that time his faith is considered to be genuine. That is called Paramatik Shraddha. Paramatik Shraddha causes such a strong conviction that that person will become so <coughs> determined and they cannot be deviated from the path of progress. Like Pallad Maharaj, his father tried to throw him from the top of mountains, throw him under the feet of stampeding elephants, and give him poison, put him in fire, but he could not give up his hearing, chanting and remembering. Srila Haridas Thakur was brought be before the Muslim king. He said, stop chanting this name of the Hindu God, otherwise there will be very severe repercussions for you. Srila Haridas Thakur replied, Kanda kanda hoi daya jai jari pran Tabu ami padani na chari hari nam Oh my, your majesty, you may cut my body into thousands of pieces and I may give up my pran, my life air. But one thing is for certain, that my tongue cannot give up the chanting of this name. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, 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 Ram, Ram, Hare Hare. Paramatik Shraddha is like this. It has no uh, fear or uh, mm, rivals in this material world. It causes the heart to be disposed very clearly towards the service of Krishna. But this Paramatik Shraddha is also of two types. One type is Shastra Artha Avadharni Mai Shraddha. And the other type is called Bhagavat Leela Madhurya Loba Mai Shraddha. The first type, Shastra Artha Avadharni Mai Shraddha, means that if a living entity coming into the association of devotees hears that, oh my dear brother, you are not this physical body, you are transcendental, you are Atma, the soul, you are eternal, and you are part and parcel of God. Because you have forgotten the Supreme Lord, therefore you are suffering in the endless chain of birth and death, sufferings and sorrows. Hmm? Therefore, oh give up your sleepiness and engage yourself in the service of God, because this is your duty. You are part of God, and just as the hand being part of the body should serve the body, so the soul being part of God should serve the Lord. That person hears this Qatar and he thinks, Yes, this is my real duty in life. I should serve the Supreme Person as God because I am his part. And if I don't, uh oh, I have to take birth again, I have to go to school again, I have to fall in love again. Oh no. Hmm? And he's afraid. Hmm? He's afraid of this material existence. So on the one hand, it's his duty that he should serve God. So he does his duty. And on the other hand, he has some fear of the sufferings of this world. So he engages in bhakti. This type of faith, Shastra Arta Avadharna Mahi Shastra, the faith which is based on uh, some fear of the discipline, which is explained in the scriptures, this is the eligibility to begin the path of Vaidhi Bhakti, a regulative devotional service which gradually grows and develops Nishta Ruchi Asakti Vaikuntha Bhav. Mm -hmm. It comes to the level of uh, emotional uh, attachment and loving sentiments for the Supreme Lord of Vaikuntha, the realm of opulence. On the other hand, if a living entity, mm -hmm. by good fortune, somehow or other, wanders into the assembly, wherein there is a very uh, Siddhanta Vit, a Rasik, Braja Rasik, a Rupanuga Vaishnav, who is, oh, Krishna Bhakti Rasam, and comes and begins to uh, pervade their minds. They become obsessed. Ragatmi kaika nishta ye, Braja Basi Janadishu, Taisam Bhava Pite Lodda. Tatradik Bhavit Tatradik Karavan Sri Rupa Goswami Pad said, Hearing about the Grij Vasis, how the friends of Krishna, they can wrestle with him, how they can give him their own remnants, hmm? or hearing how Madhya Shoda feeds Krishna her breast milk, how she can chastise him and twist his ear, hmm? or hearing how the gopis of Vrindavan, hmm? how they please Krishna by all of their loving services, by singing and dancing in so many ways. Then that person, a feeling comes in his heart, an obsession. I want to love Krishna like the bridge bosses, particularly one or another. They may be attracted to serve Krishna like his friends, or like his parents, or especially 
like the gopis of Vrindavan, when this obsession enters his heart, when this greed uh, to become like them comes into his heart, this is called Bhagavad Lila Madhurya Loba Mahishraddha, the faith which is based exclusively on greed. Hmm? Now this person, he's hearing, chanting and remembering not out of fear and not because he thinks you have to take birth repeatedly in this world, but the impetus which initiates all of his devotional activities is simply agreed to love Krishna in the way that the residents of Vrindavan love him. So this type of shraddha, this faith, is the eligibility to begin the path of Raganuga Bhakti, for which Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared in this world. Premarasa nirjas karite yasudhan, ragamarga bhakti loke karite prachara. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came here to taste the frame, the loving sentiments of Srimati Radhika. From her point of view, how she loves him. And for the sake of the world, he wanted to distribute Raga Marga Bhakti, the path of Raga Nuga Bhakti. So that path, it begins with the initial appearance of Loba Mahishraddha, faith based on grief within the heart of the living entity. And it may come in the heart of anyone. Be careful. It may come in the heart of anyone at any moment. It, you cannot control it. It is quite independent. So I think that those who have come assembled here in the Furama Hotel, they have some Sukriti. They must have so much Sukriti because on the way they're asking Furama, Furama, Rama, Rama, Rama. <laughs> so they chanted so much Namabas. And eventually they came to this place and sitting at the lotus feet of um, Paramaradatam Guru Pada Padma. Goswami Maharaj, who really is such a Vaishnava, Krishna Bhakti Rasa Bhavitamati, Kriyatam Yati Kutopi Labyate, Rupa Goswami Padi Patyavali, and Srila Prabhupada actually, Srila A.C. Bhakti Danta Swami Prabhupada, he said, I call my society ISKCON, the International Society for Krishna Consciousness, and this phrase Krishna Consciousness I took from this particular verse of Padyavali. The International Society for Krishna Bhakti Rasa Bhavitamati. It is a society for that. So then the verse goes on to explain that Kritam Yadi Kutopi Labyate. If such a faith, if such a greed is available in any place, then what should you do? Go there without delay. Kutopi, that is anywhere. If such a greed to serve the Lotus Feet of Radha and Krishna is available anywhere, then without any caste or creed, without any denomination, without any institutional or constitutional considerations, at once go to that place, sit there and hear that Hare guitar. And then there's a very good chance that if one will hear with honor that such a greed, which is so rare and so valuable, will enter into the core of one's heart. <laughs> Vishakha and Kuleji, where are they? Do you know? Why? She's preparing for your arrival. Then, you have to prepare for your arrival.